Hello friends, it's me Steffi Stephen here. It's such a joy to meet you even today in this video. I'm so overwhelmed to share about the topic feminism and Christian feminism. It makes me really happy, you know, to share about this topic. And I can proudly say that I am a feminist and I am a Christian feminist. So whenever we hear about feminism, people obviously have a negative baggage on their heads thinking that it's a topic that, you know, is least discussed and it's a topic that it should not be discussed in today's uh, world and we have seen a lot of people even though we talk about feminism they'll be like oh sorry I didn't hear about that word they'll be like that you know they'll have that reaction on their faces so that's how people you know actually avoid feminism so that's what feminism is today also and my dear friends when you talk about feminism it's all about equal rights equal opportunities and what freedom that we all strive for and we all expect for but then when you come to Christian feminism it's the same thing you can see many people in the Christian society you know uh, oppressing you and making you do things that you don't want to do and restrict you with certain you know uh, Christian norms that the society builds upon you that's how it is happening my dear friends and today I want to tell you that as a woman, as a Christian woman, find your true self and bring out your true identity. Don't sacrifice your life for someone else and someone's happiness. Many people might have a stereotypical idea of what a Christian life should be and how it should be lived and what a feminist life should be. And I've seen many people, you know, talking about uh, girls and women that they should be so and so like this in their structured uh, norms that's been, you know, told by the society. Are you going to live with a stereotypical idea that others have upon feminism and feminists? Not at all, my dear friends. You have your own identity, you know, to uh, shine for yourself and to look for yourself. And what God also expects from you as a Christian feminist and my dear friends when we see certain things in our life we often hear words like hey don't do like this hey don't go there don't sit like this don't stand you are a girl you are a woman don't do this don't uh, knock at people like this don't uh, stand like this don't come and stand in front of your relatives like this be always dressed uh, take care of yourself and always follow certain rules every time we hear these words you are a woman you are a girl so you have to be like this it's the type of things that we expect as a family so people obviously you know they just mask your true identity and they make you live a new life right and I've seen many women out there who has been living a sacrificial life for their kids, for the family, for their husband. I've seen many women in the kitchen still today who's been very domestic after they get married. My dear friends, even women has dreams to accomplish. Dreams that are buried deep inside. Sadness that has been buried deep inside their hearts. My dear friends, today I would love I would like all of you to encourage all the wonderful women out there, be it your mother, be it your sister, anyone in your life, any women that you face in your life, give them the opportunity, give them the space to explore themselves, to come out by themselves, to, you know, see the new world that God has created for them. If women, as women, if we all restrict ourselves and sit at home and we be like, okay, my family is important, my future uh, is important, my uh, friends, my every relationship is important. And when we bite our teeth and when we sit idle at home, we cannot achieve as a woman. But my dear friends, we live in a vehement state. And as a, you know, at a certain point of time, we become very frugal. And we don't take care of ourselves. We'll be like for others, for others, for others. We just give ourselves for others. That's how we live. And that's how we sacrifice our own lives and happiness. Even today, my dear friends, there might be a lot of people around you telling that you are a feminist or you are a feminist uh, believer. So you, have, you must know this, you have to do this and all that. But then think for a moment, as a woman, as a self-made woman, what are you up to? 
and what are you doing in your life currently are you making time for yourself are you taking care for yourself are you doing chores that you need to do for yourself no we don't right we don't spend time for ourselves we just rely on our family's happiness and that's how what we always do and in matthew we see a beautiful verse which says she is clothed with strength and dignity obviously the word strength means that a woman is very powerful and the word dignity means that she is a respected honored woman in the society so god says all this and he does not you know discriminate men and women to race or any other things only we you know stick on to all this stereotypical ideas and deconstructed views that people have created upon religion and we incorporate culture into religion that's the wrong understanding that many of us have in today's life even today my dear friends make time for yourself be yourself love yourself and then when your first women self is prioritized next to god then you will be happy my dear friends so today i want to encourage you saying that prioritize yourself after god and then you can take care of your family friends everyone we all have one life to live and that's a beautiful life that is being given by god so you have the chance and freedom and opportunities that's ahead of you so just grab that up and live happily and just walk as a bold woman and prove the world that you are worthy enough to be born in this world and that's what i want to tell you as a feminist so i encourage all of you to be strong and powerful and to never give up on yourself when people actually talk about you or when people actually say that you're not worthy enough or when people actually tell you that you are a girl you should not do this you are a girl you are restricted from certain things you are a girl you should not go there just just chuck it out just leave all of that behind one should perceive christianity as a religion and not as a culture my dear friend feminism is freedom let's fight for it let's come out of the shell that we are in now and prove ourselves as wonderful and beautiful women take care bye